Kittens are some of the world's cutest yet most ferocious predators. They are natural hunters who love to show their playful dominance by chasing, pouncing, and biting their prey. Kittens are basically incredibly hyper, mini, jungle cats who seek to let out their excitement by biting. It's just a part of their nature. But how does one calm a kitten down and avoid an unwanted bite or chomp from this pint-sized predator? We should understand that play biting is an essential part of a kitten's early developmental stage. Kittens, just like babies, go through a teething phase. So if your kitten is going around biting things such as your furniture, they're using their teeth to explore the world around them. Kittens and their siblings use play biting to communicate with each other and their mother. Luckily, it's fairly easy to train a kitten to stop biting you and other humans. Here are 7 tips on how to get kittens to stop biting you and start nibbling on something else. Tip number 1, using your voice. Picture this, you're sitting at your desk reading an article about how to celebrate National Cat Day with your new kitten on your lap. You're absent-mindedly petting her when all of a sudden they get overstimulated and bite your fingers. The first thing you should do is imitate a short, loud noise like ow or hiss to let the cat know like a mother cat would when you're upset. Using your voice is important in training your kitten when a love bite has gone too far. Make sure it's not an overwhelming sound by making it as short and curt as possible. Your kitten will begin to take the hint that their biting bothers you. Also, not showing aggression after being bitten is one answer to how to calm a kitten down. Tip number two, redirect their focus. Slowly remove your hand from their grasp. An overly excited kitten may misinterpret a quick removal of your hand as wanting to continue to play with them aggressively. This next step is very important. Redirect their attention with an alternative to your hands. One toys and laser pointers are truly ideal for this situation. Using these toys as alternatives are a great way for you to positively reinforce the idea of toys, not hands. This helps to release their instinctive playful hunting energy in a healthy way. A laser game pointer for cats is one way of preventing them from damaging your other belongings. If not a laser pointer, a chew toy is a great alternative because they at least have something they can sink their teeth into. Tip number 3, reward good behavior. Cats are only able to learn right from wrong with positive reinforcements. Reward good behavior by speaking in a soft voice and praising them. Giving them treats when they hunt the right prey is a plus point. Tip number 4, remember to be consistent. For them to learn that they shouldn't bite your hands, fingers, toes, or ankles, you'll have to show consistency by playing with their appropriate toys. Trust us, it is not fun to get bitten hard by them when kittens have reached adulthood. Consistency is key because they'll eventually understand that biting you isn't okay, and in turn, this behavior won't linger into their adulthood. And as always, do not forget to reward them with treats. Tip number 5, Schedule Daily Playtime. Consistency and routine go hand in hand. Scheduling playtime with them for at least 20 minutes, two or three times a day promotes an essential bonding time. Recognizing you as a family member will make them happier and more relaxed at home and help lower excessive energy in an overly hyper kitten. Tip number 6, Make sure they're healthy. There's a difference between rough play and feral behavior. If you believe your kitten is acting unusually aggressive and the biting or scratching continues, seek professional help. Underlying medical issues or pain can cause hostility in cats, making them more likely to attack. Unusual biting behavior may be a symptom of an underlying problem. Tip number 7, make a kitten safe space. A safe environment with adequate resources like food, water, litter box, scratching for your kitten greatly calms them down if they're biting out of stress and anxiety. This is especially true when you've adopted a stray. Allowing the new kitten time to adjust to your home is another form of positive reinforcement. Raising a young cat is an enjoyable, fun, and exciting time in our lives as cat parents. It doesn't have to be painful or annoying if they turn out to be a habitual biter. Always remember to schedule playtime with them 
and give them a variety of toys to curb unwanted behavior. Your kitten will learn that people are friends, not food. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, share and paw the like button. Subscribe for more videos like this for you and your cat.